the setting to this fight scene that's going to end the movie is based on this village that literally is built on stilts right above the water. There's like water and mud right below you right now. It was a very interesting location. Our director, Rule, had been to Thailand and said, I'm going to film there one day, I'm going to film there one day. And it was always for me a dream to shoot a movie here. I came here so many years as a tourist and I found all these beautiful places. Where we are standing now is like a, a fisherman's village. It's called Bang Bang Pat. There's only about 400 houses in the entire village. On the far end are mangroves and with monkeys in the, in the mangroves. It's right at the base of this island. There's this big mountain and it comes down and here's the village. It's just the coolest setting. And this is like the home base for our villain. And he has this big boat, but it's like a fisher ship. And inside is all his plans and his dynamite and explosions and his weapons. I know it's going to be physical, so I just hope that Ted takes it easy on me. Hey, but oh, yeah. you land on this, now you have to have to run away. Have you seen the size of that guy? Uh, any pointers you can give me uh, right now will be much appreciated because I've got my work cut out. <laughs> In my first phone call with Tamora, I told him, if you're doing this movie, you have to do everything yourself. I want you to see you fighting, and you're going to be beat up and fighting with this WWE star. And he was like, oh, yes. It's not the size of the man. It's the size of the fights in the man. Several phases to this fight. You know, the first is that Ted is stalking Tamora with a pistol. Tamora gets that pistol off him. It's a continuing fight taking place all through this village. First pun, right? And the second one block like this and then... Okay. For Ted, when he saw that, and he really excited to, to learn it, that's why he, he get it quite fast. <laughs> Easy to train him, you know, that he's so flexible in his body. It's a very physical fight. Both of them, you know, they're running, they're screaming, they're fighting, they're shooting guns, and it looks really, really cool. We're running crazy through the streets, smashing into fish nets and cages, and I'm about to throw this dude for a loop. We kind of expected Ted would be able to do a lot of his stunts because of his wrestling experience, but not to this extent. He's smashing the tables, and rolling through fishing nets, while Tamora swinging his sticks. Lucky this guy can take a blow. Real stick. No pads. Real concrete. They're doing it themselves, which is a huge bonus for us as the filmmakers because you're able to shoot from any angle if you've got the real actors. It's quite incredible. Here we are at this location where people live, go about their daily routine, fishing, and very family oriented. And then here we come along and we just jump into their house, shoot it up, jump out of their house again, and they seem to be enjoying it. The village itself has never had a film shoot here, and so the kind of action sequences we're doing here, you would think would really upset the villagers, but in fact, they really hey, have accepted us with open arms. We just said, hey, we need this house, and they're like, oh, yeah, okay. Move the furniture around. And this is a real house. This is somebody's house. We're jumping on their couch. I remember each time I dove in, I looked back, and there's a guy just sitting there. So it's entertaining for these guys. They're letting us use one of their overhangs. We're going to collapse it, and then once we're done with it, we put a new one in for them. So I'm taking out these stills, and they're real. you you got to hit them to knock them down. I don't know if you can see my arm. It's a bit indented there. That's uh, where I took I took down one, then I took down another. It, was, it ended up being three of them. So I'm in quite a bit of pain right now, but I know it's going to pay off. That's cool. Three, two, one, go! What I really like is to put an actor in a location that they have to react to the real thing. And yes, okay, they can fall off this thing or they can break through something. I landed on my head. Tomorrow I was bleeding on his hat. God! Cut, 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 cut. So I just cut off the uh, it's a little cut. I said, oh, you want to go back to your trailer and rest? He said, no, 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 keep shooting, because now I'm bleeding for real and I can use it for the part. It's been great, because working with Tam, you know, he's very gung-ho and we worked well together, I think. This will never stop. There'll be a thousand more like me. It's dying, Tam. It's very hard. I'm not so bad at the angry scenes, but the dying stuff is a little... Oh. 